This is Drom Shakasuto. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much. Try new gas. The knowledge of how to meditate and how to connect yourself to the depths of your awareness is a very ancient knowledge that been discussed and open in different cultures, different religions, in the world. Many of the understandings are very close to each other, even though the wisdoms and the assumptions and the knowledge can be very, very distant and different between the cultures. But when you see people of truth, real holy teachers that are guiding people how to find their inner self and how to connect themselves to their spiritual source, to their spiritual root in creation, there is a big similarity between those holy teachers. There are many ways to meditate and most of them are also kosher from side of the Jewish faith that we follow one God that is Hashem Elokei Israel, that is the King and we believe that he chose our nation in an early generation to deliver his wisdom to the wide world. Now, that wisdom does not put us above someone else. The opposite is the truth. It's putting us in the position of servants that's supposed to deliver the message of their master to his children. Now, all creations, by our belief, are his children, with no differences. It's written in many sources, in our ancient scripts, that the Creator, he loves all of his creations, and his mercy are spread and covered on all particles of creation. All human beings are in his shape and receive the particle of soul that is divine and is holy. And everyone, with no difference, is welcome to find his soul and to reconnect himself from within to that divine source that is the king of all kings, the one that is above physicality. From what that I learned and received from my teachers and rabbis and from holy books that I read with years, searching and investigating to find the real truth, the truth that is reflecting the real will of the Creator in His creation what really infinity wants from us, what really the endless wants from us as individuals. So in that search, I came up with a few ways that I found very useful to meditate and to connect myself, my daily awareness to a divine source that is inner. 
one of the ways, most powerful ones, one that I that I found was through singing. The world of music is a very high world and it's even written that is a, a higher that it is a higher world than the world of thought. And we know that the worlds are built one floor above the next and the thoughts are in our mind we can feel where we think we think with our mind with our brain and the wisdom is the spirit that hovers above the brain so the thoughts are coming from a place that is above our body but the world of singing is even higher than that. It's written that the angels are singing to the Creator, but when we are singing to the Creator, so they stop their singing and they listen to us. So, by connecting ourselves to the truth, while singing, we're creating a divine and holy and very, very powerful quiet in the upper world, the world of the angels. Everyone are tuning themselves to our prayer and why and how come we can become so powerful that our songs can be so high that angels will stop themselves from praising the Creator the most highest thing that they found to do in their lives, in their holy lives, why that they will stop from praising the Creator while hearing us when we're mumbling, barely tuning ourselves to the right melody and barely remembering the words of the song that we're trying to sing. Because the angels, they can recognize the effort that it takes for people like us to sing from the places that we are located at. That we are under coverings of physicality and our bodies that are the vehicles of, for our souls are trapped in very thick darkness, in very impure places. And the angels themselves they know that if they would find themselves in that darkness, they wouldn't be able to praise the Creator from those dark places. And because that they see in us that power, that greatness, that stubbornness and flaming fire of holy will to carve through all obstacles our way, to connect ourselves in the highest way of them all to the Creator, immediately they admire us and they have so much appreciation toward our effort and they're standing silent and just listening and being inspired from our songs. The highest song of them all is the song that never been sang before. It's your private song. If, for an example, you will try to pray, to sing to the Creator a song, a certain prayer on a certain topic that you're aware of. For an example, you want to have more money. You want to be less scared you want to be more happy. Simple topics that you want to discuss, that you want to share, that you want to talk about. Even if you will express yourself on the same problem twice, the second prayer will not be similar to the first. For sure that the words will be different. Even if you will talk about the same topic, 
and 100% sure that the intention of your heart will be different because your heart never stand in one place. So when you will open yourself to pray, open your heart to pray, you will always pray a new prayer. You will always sing a new song. And that's the highest level of singing and praising and praying to the Creator. To pray the prayer of the present. To connect yourself to the Spirit that is inspiring and reviving and illuminating yourself in the present, at that moment of your singing. Now, as people, when we're finding ourselves locked and struggle in life's difficulties, we need some keys to open, to turn on our engines, to warm up ourselves, to connect ourselves. And this is why people are meditating. People are meditating because they want to reconnect themselves to their own source of freedom, to their inner connection to infinity. And this is why people are also using written prayers, because the written prayers contains keys to many gates. And it's not a shame, and there's no lacking when you need help to lean on a written prayer. It's true that your individual prayer is the highest prayer that you can pray. But if for that cause, for that purpose, to reach to the point of your heart, of the present, for that you need some support, some push, it's not a shame. And even more so, it's a great honor that you're humble to understand that you need help and you go and seek for that help. And this is why today I brought the prayer Anna Bekoach. The prayer Anna Bekoach I explained many times that it's a very holy and divine and secret prayer that been revealed to us by the righteous man, Nechunia ben Hakana. That Nechunia ben Hakana, he lived in the time of the Holy Temple around 2,000 years ago. And he was a very righteous person that all the wise, righteous people in that generation would come to hear from him about the visions that he saw while meditating in the temple. He was climbing the, the, the worlds and he was describing the sights that had been revealed to him. He was facing the Creator sitting on his throne of honor in all the worlds and he knew the names and the combinations that were the keys that were required to open those doors to enter to those divine worlds and he was expressing them out loud and there was a righteous man that sat on the floor on the ground and was writing down all of that description, all of those explanations. And it's written in a book that is, that his name is Sefer Eichalot. Sefer Eichalot, the book of, um, I don't know the word, Eichalot. What? Palaces. Palaces? Yeah. Uh, palaces. Those are the worlds, those are the divine spaces of, of the world of beyond. And over there we can, we can see and be inspired from, from a lot of holy information. So he was that one that brought down to the world that magnificent prayer. And the first letter of every word in that prayer is a letter that belonged to its place by the order of those words in the name of our Holy Creator. And it's called the name of Membet. Membet is a numeral value that is equal to 42. It's the name of the Creator that holds 42 letters. Now, 
we wrote in this paper the prayer itself in the holy language, the ancient Hebrew, Anam Khawaf, you can see that. Under it, we wrote the way that you can pronounce that word in English to make your life easier a little bit. And because that the intention of the heart is so powerful, that's why we also translated the meaning of the word into simple English that we will understand what we're saying basically and not only function as those droids that soldiers that the world is uh, forcing us to be. We don't want that. We want to reveal our individuality. I said that many times. Even King David that was praising Hashem and wrote the book of Tehillim, praises and songs of King David, he himself was not reading Tehillim. He was not reading the book of, of Psalms. He was just talking to Hashem. And his most inspiring songs and prayers have been written by him or by people that heard him singing his songs and been given to us today. But he was simply talking to the Creator in his own language, using his um, vocabulary, expressing his heart and his fears, his anxieties, his sorrow, his pain, and was praising the Creator uh, from the heart. So if we want to reach those levels, we should follow his footsteps. And it doesn't mean to say to him all day long. It's to connect ourselves by that wisdom to the Creator. So, there are many ways, and again, in the meditation that we will enjoy from today, we will go in into two aspects of meditation. One will be that song. We will try to sing that song together, together, calmly, quietly. Everyone will try to connect himself to the intention of that prayer and to remember the holiness of that song. And the main intention is to use that prayer as that key to open the door for ourselves really to connect ourselves to our individual inner source to infinity to the source of life to the life itself and after we will sing that song a few times then we will try to walk with the power of our imagination to find the purpose of our lives and then I'll give you a few tips and a few advice when our mind and our heart will be open and ready to receive those advice. For sure that for those ones that are able to close their eyes and to focus in their inner world, it's a blessing. But for the ones that feel still bother or that they're not familiar with the prayer and they rather to have a certain connection to our physical world reading the text or from any other reason to open their eyes it's also a blessing we must understand that as free souls one of the most important first steps that we must work on and keep is to drop behind our backs the criticism, the self-hatred and all the negative thoughts that we have on ourselves all day long. We must throw all of that spiritual waste behind our backs and just to go to a positive, good place. So 
So now we will start. I will sing that song to you. After a few times that we will sing it together, and the ones that don't feel like singing can just hear the song and aim their heart to where they feel free to. In the second page that we brought, the same prayer is written. The prayer starts on the top, left, second, first letter Aleph on the top, and it's written here in a circle. After singing that song a few times from that wonderful paper, if you have the ability to move to the next and to pray that prayer while reading it in circles is a very, very powerful thing. And many righteous people in ancient generations, they use that method of meditation and prayer, where the prayers are written in circles. It's a spiral shape, a circle, that is rising and uplifting the letter to that divine place that even angels cannot reach.
through your inner channel to your Creator that gives you life, power, wisdom, and holy desires. Every one of us is connected to the throne of honor in a unique way. For us to find that connection, we must feel very loved and welcome, supported, honored, and appreciated. For that we must recognize the good that we carry within or else we won't be able to understand why the Creator, He really loves us so much. Based on our physical experiences, based on our look, on our shape, on our voice, even based on our wisdom and life experience, we cannot understand how great and divine we really are. Only based on an inner connection through deep, deep diving into the roots of our own individual souls, we can understand how great we are in the nature of our creation. For that, sometimes we must confront our fears and not to let them reject us. Now, when those fears are trying to move us away from claiming what that is ours, means our spiritual source, our eternal source of life, we can find ourselves struggling with them, battling with them, with fears, with lack of confidence, with negative thoughts, lack of self-appreciation, low self-esteem, feelings of loneliness, sadness. And some of those feelings can even come with no shapes and cannot be explained. Sometimes we can have panic attacks, anxieties that are coming from an unknown source. Also from that kind of fear, we must ignore. We must let those waves of negativity go through us and to try as much as we can not to pay attention to them, not to give them strength and not to stabilize their existence. We must understand that every negative feeling that we're experiencing is only a temporary feeling that is about to move and drift away. And the good is an eternal good that soon we will reconnect ourselves to in an eternal bonding that will never be separated again. Every time that you have a good feeling, 
that you have a feeling of completion, of deep understanding, you should know that you gained another spark into your basket, that you collected another diamond and put it on your necklace, in your treasure box, and it's with you forever. Even if you cannot find it anymore, you should know that the Creator Himself is protecting and treasuring all of your deep understandings and all of those precious pearls of wisdom and deep understandings that you found along the way. Even if you feel that you lost it, the truth is that you can come back to yourself in a moment with no effort at all. For that, you need to move away, distract your thoughts from the external world, from physicality, and just to reconnect yourself to your source of good, to your inner world, to your inner connection to the Almighty. In that place that we are holding right now, the gates of heaven are open widely for us to express ourselves and to feel the godliness that is above. I offer you all to close your eyes and to attach yourself to infinity through your mind, to believe is to throw yourself even to complete darkness like you can experience while closing your eyes. The outside world looks so colorful and so bright, so many different shapes, colors, figures, smells, and sounds. And when you close your eyes, you basically experience nothing, emptiness, a dark place. But the truth is, that the outside world is the world of limitations, of dividings, and there are numbers to every huge amount of particles that you can see, and even to those ones that are hidden from you. There is a precise number of leaves on the trees, and dust bunnies in the air. There is a number to the birds and amount to the clouds in the sky. There is a precise number of drops of water that the sea contains and the Creator, He can count the stars in the sky. The world that is surrounding us from outside is a physical block, a wall that is separating us from our divine source. But in the moment that we're taking back our awareness from the external world and focusing in our point of honesty within, in that moment we're reaching infinity, even if it cannot be seen. Even if you cannot put a tag on it, you don't know how to name that sight, and you're not sure if you can see or not, you are now floating in the endless sea of wisdom. And everything that you need 
is available for you on the spot. This is the place that you are unlimited at. Every request and every prayer, every feeling and every holy desire is finding its way straight to the source of good, to the heart of the Creator Himself that is above place and limitations of time. We are uncovering our true potentials. We are revealing the inner flame of our soul that can illuminate the darkness of our lives by believing in the unity of the souls, by connecting ourselves to our own deep understandings those ones that we're carrying within from our earliest days, from ancient times, from different lifetimes, and from the days of creation and before, from the ancient days of before time. We are connected to the ancient archive of knowledge that holds no words, no definitions, only pure sense, only pure wisdom, the power of life is surrounding our creation. To connect yourself to who you are, for that you must feel good with yourself. You must allow yourself to be who the Creator made you to be, who He sent you to be. He shaped you in a body for a purpose, but you are a pure beam of light and your roots are in heaven above. Now we're climbing the world seeking for the root of our creation, trying to find the essence of our life, to understand who we really are. If you feel quietly to ask a question, to request something, to pray. Now it's the time to do that quietly, only between you to your source of life. Ask your request, say your word. Your prayers been accepted. Open wide arms of kindness are open wide to supply that light that you asked for. It's washing you and purifying you and healing you. You will carry that light with yourselves for the rest of your life. It will walk with you and will shine your life. You will remember that experience and that memory will come back and re-wake you up again and again as many times as you will need to complete your journey on earth.
in an honorable way, in a beautiful way, in a positive and pleasant way, well connected to your source of life, to the source that supplies life to your soul, to your emotional body, and to your physical body that is carrying all of your spiritual cargo as a cone. You are a source of blessing to the world and you should recognize that light inside of yourself and to go with that light and to spread it with no fear with no pressure. You are a beam of light, of positive and pleasant life. Don't block it. Let your soul shine and wash all impure particles of this creation from now and on in a stronger and stronger way each day at a time. Let the light of your soul shine from within to express the unconditional love that the Creator wants to reveal through you. Count on your inner logic. Count on your deep understanding and express the ancient wisdom that is treasured inside of you. You are a creation that has been created by the creator of the wide world. There is no higher wisdom than the wisdom of the creator himself that calculated every aspect and decided to make you as you are. And He made you so gorgeous and so blessed and so powerful with no amount of abilities beyond physical abilities you are connected to the endless sea of knowledge and you can bring down the answer to every question that you will ask or be asked in the future when you will want to know something breathe Connect yourself to your soul and you'll find the right answer. Sometimes the right answer is to say, I don't know. If it's the truth, so it's the right answer. Connect yourself to your inner point of truth, of honesty. Be who you are. Be honest about it. Be mature about who you are and express your true thoughts, your true feelings, your deepest understandings and wash every kind of negativity and darkness from yourself and from all of your surroundings with your positive light with the light of your soul that is shining from within come back to your vehicles come back to your emotional bodies 
Come back to the place that you are at right now. Come back to your fingers. Come back to your hands, to your shoulders. Come back to your own head, to your back, to your feet. Come back more powerful, more aware, more sensitive to your true self and spread that light of honesty among all your beloved ones. We are not meant to scare from no situation. We are scared only when we let our mind be distracted from the truth that we know within that the Creator, He loves us, and unconditional love. When we distract our thoughts from that deep understanding, we'll lose the connection and we're falling under the kingship of physicality, of the husks and coverings of this world. But in every moment of awareness that you reconnect yourself to your inner truth, to the depths of your own understanding that your soul is attached to heaven, to the Almighty Himself, in that moment you destroy and remove all kinds of darkness that were threatening on you before. There is no power in this world that can block us from completing our mission on earth and delivering the news of the redemption to the wide world except of our own despair. Only our low self-esteem will force us to give up. But if we won't surrender to our selfishness, to our self-pity, to our laziness, to the lies of this world that is telling you that you are a limited creation, if we will not surrender to that, there will be no obstacle in our way. We're going to jump and climb above every challenge and difficulty and going to rise to the highest, highest places of them all. To the highest of the highest crowns and wisdom that never been revealed before will be the most basic understanding of our life. Simple people like us will play roles that are higher than roles of angels as of today by allowing ourselves to express the real light of our souls. May the Creator bless you all, us all together to believe in our true selves completely and never to doubt His unconditional love to us. That we will remember always that He never left us and that we are all in it to win it. <laughs> and with a big smile from heaven toward us and from our place out to the world to every person around us and to heaven we will harvest the success of the fact that we were sitting in tears we will find the answers 
the solution and the right advice to all of our issues and to the issues and topics that are bothering all of our beloved ones. We must not give up ever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're handing out to you guys and envelopes and also papers for you to sign up your email addresses and phone numbers please and to every and single one of you I'm asking please become part of our family help us and support us and our activity around the world we are making wonders be partners with us we're not charging for those wonderful events that cost us a lot of money. And we're asking you please to be partner with us and help us, support us. If it's now and if it's online, always you should know that your support to us is saving lives of people. Every penny that is coming into the Luna Project system is a penny that goes back to the people. And I'm not a politician. I'm an honest person and you can check my bank to see that it's all running back. <laughs> it's all going back to the people. Thank you so much and I really hope, if I can ask something, if you enjoy this evening event, so bring a friend or a couple of friends for next week event. We have a series of three meetings here and hopefully after finishing them we're going to set the new series of events and probably going to need a video place. Thank you so much. Be we hope you enjoy this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.